to the Land of Legends Raceway here and in Canandaigua, New York, live on Land of Legends TV and on Dirt Vision. It's a very special night here. It's the sixth annual Gerald Hares Memorial, but what's going to make this one that much more special is what we're about to do right now, and that is to unveil the 23rd members. I say, usually we say member, it's members tonight as we induct the Hares family, the entire family. And there's an army of them down here at the Wall of Fame, so we're all very excited. Uh, this, again, is, is a really big deal. All the names, all the pictures that you see here on the Wall of Fame, I could not think of a better family to now take their spot here on the Wall of Fame. And for the Hares family, when it came to racing, it all started by taking an advertisement out at uh, Waterloo Speedway. And all these years later, look, look what it has all led to. Three big block modified championships. And this event here tonight, the sixth annual Gerald Hares Memorial, 38 modifieds, 50 sportsmen. This event is a big deal in the Northeast. Why is that? because of the Hares family, because of the patriarch of the family, Gerald Hares. Uh, so I wanna get a few words from the family, but folks, how about a nice hand for the Hares family here tonight and all these great supporters. <laughs> Justin, I wanna start with you. Um, this is such a big deal, this race tonight. My goodness, a great turnout. And you talk to more and more drivers and they say, we've gotta be at that race because of Jerry, Justin, Gerald, Joanne, everybody that makes this event what it is. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, that, that's what makes this special is, um, you know, the drivers that say, well, you know, I got to go to this race because of, uh, you know, how we put it on and, and kind of the, in honor of my dad. So uh, it's definitely a, a wild event. You know, obviously um, last year we got named uh, Short Track Race of the Year, which was, huge going against some pretty big time races so what an honor that was and uh be down here and, and you know getting in the wall of fame is really cool i want to uh talk to joanne here um, okay <laughs> i'll tell you what how about a, how about a nice hug what what an honor here tonight uh, everybody Absolutely. that shares their memories of gerald what a night here tonight yes it sure is i'm very proud of it he was a great guy my kids are great it's just a great thing, a great event. And I can't think of anything else we would be doing but going to races, because we did that all our lives. Yeah. Well, I, I remember, I mean, I, I see yeah. you guys at the races when I was a little kid, when I was this tall, and there's so many people that come to the races here who share that same story. I knew these guys way back when I was growing up and coming to the races, and what it's turned into now is just incredible. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. It's, okay. I thank Paul for doing this for us. I mean, it's a great honor. Jerry, I want to get, oh yeah. I was thinking about this when I was, when I was walking down here because I figured I'd probably be put on the spot. And, uh, you know, I, I tell this, this quick story about my dad and my mom told me this. He, uh, he came home from Vietnam, gets home, you know, says hi to his parents. My mom, they were married. I think my brother was maybe a year old. And he says, let's go to Waterloo. And that was the first place he went. He got off the plane from Vietnam. He was home on break, came home, said hi to his parents, my mom, and they went to Waterloo. And uh, you know that that was my dad and, and my mom. And uh, you know, and even on the way to on the way to Volusia every year, they would plan it so they would stop at um, Brunswick, Georgia, watch the late models, go to Volusia, sometimes go to East Bay. And when the races were done at Volusia. It was time to go home. Racing was done, the vacation was over, and they wanted to get back home. Awesome. I mean, these are some of the great stories. Jill, do you have a favorite story you'd like to share? I don't know. I was always a sidekick going to the races. So, I mean, it was I was always just ride along and keep them up on the way home. So, yeah. Awesome. Was, yeah. Jerry, how about for you? Well, first and foremost, uh, I'd like to thank the Land of Legends for putting this event on for my dad. i also like to thank Paul Cole. Without Paul Cole there wouldn't be a Gerald Hares Memorial race. It was a 2023 race of the year. My brother was down in uh, Florida to get the award. My boys wrestling and uh, we're all there with him. And uh, it's quite an honor to beat out 50 other races in the whole United States. And here at Canandaigua Speedway, Land of Legends, Paul Cole and all his staff they do an incredible job here. 
And uh, I can think of no other way to spend my Saturday night than here with you guys, watching my brother and fe his fellow competitors, you know, and uh, out there racing. And this is what I've done ever since I was born. Like Justin said, I was probably a year old. My dad come home from Vietnam. He didn't see me for a year and uh, came home, probably kissed me on the head and right to Waterloo Speedway. And he did own a, he did own a race car, 94X. And uh, I can't remember who was uh, racing for him then, Wally Burnett. And uh, he, he was in, a, my grandfather said, Gerald, I'll get you anything you want, but you cannot race a car. <laughs> so one night, quick story, uh, my grandfather and my grandmother went to dinner over in Waterloo. They just happened to be over in Waterloo. Never go over to Waterloo. So my grandfather says, come on, Marge, after dinner, we'll go over to Waterloo and see how the car's doing. Well, they go over there a little early, and he's looking around the pits, and he's going, where's Gerald? Nobody would say anything. I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. Well, where is he? He's got to be somewhere. So my grandfather said, well, the car's out there in the track, and Wally Burnett's right here. So where's Gerald? Uh, well, Phil, he's out there in the track. <laughs> That's in the car. And uh, my grandfather had the flagman wave him on in, brought him on in. He says, don't ever do that again. So he didn't want him racing. He wanted him to own the, you know, own the cars and stuff like that. And my grandfather was a big supporter behind my dad. And, of course, naturally, if it wasn't for my mother and my father, we all wouldn't be here. And there again, I couldn't thank Paul Cole, Land of Legends, for putting this event on for my dad. And... Uh, I mean, just to sum it up, my dad would go to a race. It didn't matter if it was Friday night, Dundee Speedway, Spencer Speedway. Spencer, yeah. He would be all over the place. I'd run into somebody on a Sunday and, oh, I seen your dad at Spencer Speedway Friday night eating popcorn, talked with him. So it was nothing to see my dad at any race. And it didn't matter if he had skin in the game, Justin was racing, or with Billy Taylor, if their cars were racing. It, it didn't matter. He was just a whole, wholesome race car guy and and he loved racing and that's what he that's that's what his sport was and uh my brother got in the racing or of course i got in the racing my brother got in the racing and <coughs> excuse me and uh he would always tell my brother just be safe bring her on home in the trailer don't matter if you win or finish 30th as long as you bring her home in the trailer and safe and that's all it counts you know so uh um you know, it's an honor. My dad won the 2023 this race, won the 2023 Race of the Year Award uh, against, you know, like 50 different uh, events throughout the whole United States, and we're, we're just honored. So, yeah. I appreciate it. Thanks for everything, Paul. Land of Legends, thank you for everything. It's an honor. Yeah, they were up against events like the uh, Eldora uh, Dirt Million for the sprints last year. What do you say we bring the family over? Let's unveil the plaque here. And how about a nice hand for the 23rd members of the Land of Legends Wall of Fame, the Harris family. Joanne, your hair was combed in there. It's okay. <laughs> I've known the Harris family for a long time, long time before I would get around racing. And uh, one of the most important things about uh, the Harris family is how community and friendly and family-oriented they are. Not only here at the racetrack, all, all across Phelps, all across uh, Ontario County, all across the world, as far as I'm concerned, wherever I've been, I've, I've never heard anything but uh, love for Joanne and Gerald and the whole family. And then it's one of those important things. That we, we Everybody comes to this racetrack to have a good time and create memories. Again, the Land of Legends, we have a lot of the best drivers, again, in the world at this track every week. One of the toughest fields, in my opinion. But what we have is a lot of the best stories, a lot of the best people, a lot of the things that happen to make this go around. Whether it's the, the people selling 50-50 tickets, people selling concessions, the drivers, the fans, there's places they sit. Those are, they, they make this place go around. And the Harris family has been a very important part of that on all different fronts. And uh, we're looking forward to another great show tonight. Uh, looking forward to Justin uh, bringing it up through the field and, and uh, putting on a show for his friends, family. And uh, pr an extra special thank to Jerry and Gerald or I'm sorry, Jared, for all the extra money they raised uh, for this for this race. It's one of those things that makes the drivers all much more important to be here. And uh, this is expensive sport, 
but love and passion makes anything really easy to happen. So on the path of Atlanta Legends, I'm proud to put the Harris Memorial together and now welcome the Harris family to the uh, Wall of Fame. Congratulations. So right now we've got uh, plaques for each of the uh, family members to take home. And this is one of the great things that we do with the Wall of Fame is we have the uh, plaque that is adhered to the Wall of Fame that stays here year round, but then the family gets to uh, take those as well. So they're going to take lots of pictures here at the Wall of Fame. We're going to step aside here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What do you got, Jerry? <laughs> well, first, first and foremost... This event wouldn't be possible, one, without Paul Cole and the Land of Legends. But I'd really like to thank deep from my heart. If it wasn't for Nick Guerri, my son Jared, my brother Justin, and of course myself, <laughs> um, this wouldn't be possible. And thank you for everybody that contributed for my dad's race here to make this a success. And hopefully that we get the 20... 24 race of the year again back to back and that's what we're shooting for but we're also shooting for the fans to watch a good show here from around the world thank you <laughs> 